as you can see, we have a Nest Hub Max in front of us. And what we're going to do is unbox the Nest Hub Max here and, uh, and then set it up. And we'll compare the size to the Nest Hub, which is the device that I'm actually going to be uh, replacing this with. So um, let's go ahead and unbox it. Uh, looks like we don't have a pull tag or anything like that. So we'll just get out the trusty knife here. And if you have any questions while I'm going through this, please feel free to ask down below. All right. So I'm hoping this guy is significantly larger than the full size. I mean, the regular Nest Hub. All right, come on. There we go. All right, yeah, this is significantly larger. Awesome. <clears throat> and like I said, what we'll do is we'll compare the size uh, to the uh, between the Nest Hub and the Nest Hub Max here. All right, so let's see what we've got inside. We've got a getting started. Got that. I think that's all there is. Yeah, pretty sure that's it. Um, we'll go ahead and take a closer look in just a moment. Um, so my only complaint that I've had with a lot of these uh, devices here is the fact that it does not have USB-C or so a standard plug type. Um, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward here. All right, so let's go ahead, before we actually start doing any comparisons or anything like that, let's go ahead and take the plastic off here. Uh, that way we can hopefully get some of the glare to stop. And, and then we'll go ahead and get the other guy. And as you can see, it's basically twice the size. Um, so this is the Nest Hub, Nest Hub Max. Uh, one of the differences is the Nest Hub Max has the camera on it. Um, I'm probably going to end up covering that up. I'm not a big fan of having the digital assistants having cameras <laughs> inside my house, but eh, th to each their own. All right, so um, let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and get some power set up so we can go ahead and set this guy up. Like I said, if you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you're liking the video, give it a thumbs up. Be right back. All right, so I've got power available to us. So um, basically, we're going to use the Nest Hub, um, I'm sorry, the <laughs> Google Home app on our phone here and to get everything set up. So not really anything else to worry about. And on the back here, we do have the power connection. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're doing this together, and that way you can learn from my mistakes, uh, I guarantee that I will be making some mistakes. Um, yeah. All right, so. This should be enough. Take this, this. Got this. And we're just waiting for this, this guy to boot up. So I think, there we go. Hi, to get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. So it found it, so we'll click on next. And that is the code that's there, so we'll say yes. Sure. Uh, not today.
All right, so it's all connected here. So now it's just gonna go ahead and update the actual device itself. And we're doing this at real time so you can see exactly how long it actually takes to set up. All right, and it's restarting there. And it should restart here in just a minute and be all connected. And while this is getting started, um, you know, if you could leave down in the comments uh, area, you know, what your favorite uh, digital assistant is. For myself, I go back and forth between all the, the major three, um, and you'll see that as we go through this, um, you know, as far as other devices that I've got set up on the channel. Um, sometimes the Google device is better, sometimes the uh, Apple devices are better, and other times the Amazon devices are better. It all just depends. And it's going. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. So you can get started, let me show you around. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that, and just like that, we're done. Awesome, okay, so. That's all we got, all right, so with that, um, I think this was a good look at the, uh, the Google Home Max as far as getting things set up. I can tell you sound quality wise, it definitely has more bass than the Google Home, um, but, uh, or Nest Home or whatever they're calling it these days. Anyways, uh, so that is the device. If you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting. Uh, and with that, have a great day.